Maurice Mbetsa has joined the exclusive club of aeronautical engineers that features prominent names like the Wright brothers, who invented the plane with the innovation of a passenger drone. His giant leap into the sky is a journey that began at a tender age when he was just six years old. Technology has been my, like they have been my life. My, um, I, I don't watch football, I never used to like football. So electronics was everything. My room was full of batteries, wires. While in school, Mbetsa studied ahead of time and that made him drop out of school in his second month of school. I have to wait for the next six years for, for, for the lecturer to be able like, to really uh, t um, uh, give me this knowledge. So I, like, I was impatient. He relied on internet as a knowledgeable base to build his career. And his first invasion was a mobile application that could track cars. It was a, like a very small board that I designed. And then you install it in your vehicle. So once you've installed it in your vehicle, uh, if somebody starts your vehicle without your consent, it will, it will send you a text message telling you that somebody is trying to start your vehicle. Exposure drove Mbetsa to greater heights of success. So I went to the US, I went to uh, Notre Dame University, a little bit of training. After that, I went to do my internship in IBM Innovation Center in, in Boston. In 2017, Mbetsa decided to preempt the future by innovating air taxis. Or Africa, this is where we have bad roads. Uh, we have like floods, yeah. so um, I felt this is where we really needed this technology but they don't want to bring the technology here. So I felt since I'm into technology, let me take the challenge and start thinking of how I can be able to create it and uh, even compete with them. So it consists of three major parts, the power system which are the batteries and then we have uh, the flight control system which now controls everything which consists of uh, like uh, gyroscopes, like if you're flying it knows your height, uh, it, 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 can, it can be able to control the speed of all the motors. With utmost support from his family, Mbetsa has been able to so far achieve his dream. We are a family of technology. So actually, we sometimes even we, we wake up at night, midnight, you have an idea, we all gather, start working on the idea. Electrically powered, the drone can carry a single passenger for 25 minutes at over 120 kilometers per hour and go up to between 10 and 30 feet. You can fly from, let's say, Nairobi city centre to Thika very easily. You can go, go inside, fly it yourself. Of course, you have to be trained first, certified that you can be able to, into, uh, to, to fly it. It's very simple. It's not like an, a, a helicopter or a, a, an aircraft because everything is, co um, is computer uh, controlled. And then the second mode, you can, you can be able to be uh, controlled remotely. Also, we've, uh, we are working on uh, <coughs> air, uh, air traffic control system, whereby all these vehicles, they can be able to communicate to each other, their location, where they are, where they are going, the amount of power that they have. I say the first challenge that we wanted to solve is to be able to, be able to fly that frame without any, any payload. So we, we did some tests um, and uh, kept, uh, kept improving it, and then we managed to fly the frame safely. But the battery can sometimes run out of charge while a passenger is in the air. There's an interface that we've created, so you have to select where you're going. If the battery is not enough, it won't take off. Then in case, let's say anything happens and then the battery is low and you, 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 you up there, it won't crash, it will slowly go down. He hopes the drone will be used as an air taxi for tourists and for deliveries. He affirms that it will be a safe mode of transport. The entire system we are doing triple redundancy, whereby the flight control system we are, we are, we are installing, like uh, it's a single board but has triple, uh, um, I would say, uh, everything is triple. So if one fails, the other one picks up. And then the battery also, we are using like uh, three sets of batteries in each of the, 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 the flying taxi that we'll, we'll build. Mbetsa says there are a number of challenges that he faced. You, you're building a, a, a flying taxi. And then uh, like everything that you do, like everything that you do, why don't you do it? Like you understand? Vitu nyingi, they want to criticize. Mbetsa has this advice for innovators. No matter how complex, whatever, like, whatever you're doing, no matter how, like, because sometimes when we started, we went through a lot of challenges. Like, I always, I always, but we kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Technology has driven the world by storm and here in Kenya the future seems to be bright as we have brilliant minds just like Morris who has innovated a passenger drone and it seems in the future the transport mode will completely change for the better. Sarah Adam K24 for Ingenious Kenyans.